just out for a quick ride. I uh, put all new spark plugs in the gold wing today. I guess pretty easy job except for the highway pegs got a, oh gosh, I think it was the right side. I had to take them off to get at that, that bottom screw, but uh, changing plugs are pretty easy. I, I ordered uh, six of them and I just gapped them all up about 41. Uh, before I put them all in. The old plugs came out, didn't look too bad. Um, but I did notice that when I start my bike, it would kind of surge. Not surge like just, you know, in gear or anything, but just uh, you'd hear it surge a little bit when you first started up, and then it kind of settled down. So I didn't do that when I started up this time. So what I also ordered, uh, I'm at 17,700 miles, so I just put new plugs in. And I also ordered a uh, uh, OEM air filter. So I'm going to attempt to strip all this crap off of here. Uh, take off the shelter, the, the front, and uh, the seat. And I'm going to attempt to put a new air filter in myself. I know that's a, probably minimum two hours worth of labor at a at a dealership would probably cost me just you know god it cost me 250 bucks for my first oil change i'll be you know I imagine it probably cost me a thousand bucks for an air, for air filter change so i've been doing all of my all of my own oil changes and pretty much everything uh so i'm gonna attempt to do the air filter change and uh it shouldn't be that difficult, just time consuming, taking the entire shelter off uh, and just disconnecting a lot of electrical things. But it, I'm sure it takes a couple hours. I watched a couple of videos. And so it's a it's a job. It's a big job. But God, I just can't see giving away, a, you know, thousand dollars to have them do it at a dealership. You know, just a the hourly charge and then the dealership I went to was $18 for just a shop fee which was maybe if they used a rag or use a piece of tape or or whatever it costs 18 bucks no matter which every time you take it in so I, I'm tired of that I'm not going to do that I can do it myself I put risers on this thing myself took off this whole front end and put risers on I put a belly pan on myself and uh, I have all the tools I need, so I'm going to just attempt it. I, I I don't know if I'll, I might do some video of it a little bit or even, uh, you know, just try it. Just a part of the disassembly. It's just, a, it won't be that bad. The air, air filter is just right straight underneath this. So it's going to be kind of fun to, fun to do that. I like working on my own bike. I just... I started to actually, I used to change all my own oil in all my cars. And now that I had to buy Rhino ramps, you know, for this, that I've been changing all the oil in my cars again. And I just fill up the old uh, jugs, gallon jugs or whatever. And, uh, you know, Walmart will take them and they recycle it. So I take back the, you know, the Rotella jugs or the Mobile One jugs and and uh, after I drain the oil and, and they take them, which is kind of nice. So anyway, I don't know when I'm going to tear into that. I just took a, took a spin tonight just to ch test out the new spark plugs and everything's perfect. Those little rubber things in those, uh, in those hex heads, I got most of them on, but the two back ones, they're just... It is so they're just so hard to get in they don't go in straight and god it's just a pain so i left those off and i'll see how's that apart if it fills up full of dirt or whatever then i'll get a little exacto thing and dig out the dirt i don't know what the temp is it's 86 so it's cooled off a bit so it's been up to like uh, i think it's supposed to get up to like 100 this week which will kind of suck, but oh well, it is summer.
Anyway, I guess that's all for now. I'll uh, turn on a little bit later if I have anything else to say. Bye. You know, just kind of riding out in the boonies a little bit. I got my shield open. I can't close it. It's just no air. I can't, I can't close my shield, but got it open, open a little bit more. Maybe it won't be so noisy. But anyway, I mentioned earlier in this video that I do all my own oil changes and pretty much everything on this bike now since I did the, the original 4,000 mile oil, oil change it and check at the dealership. I've been doing it all myself. But I do uh, keep good records. I write it in the owner's manual. There's a there's a place in there to keep records of all your oil changes and, and I'll actually have to write down in there uh, did the spark plug change and the air filter change too. The, I don't know why. I just probably to keep the keep the warranty which probably doesn't mean anything from the experiences I had so but anyway take care of my bike myself and keep it in good running condition I'm kind of thinking the uh, air filter is not that bad because uh, I don't ride in any dirty conditions, but I know things blow up in there. I've had butterflies blow up underneath the inside here, and I've gotten bugs inside my speaker grills, and they come in from underneath. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it's those air dams are sucking in some bugs and some dirt too. So I don't know, it's time to change it and see what I come up with, see what it looks like. I'll probably. Ooh, there's some nice hay out there. It looks brown though. Doesn't look very green. Heading out towards Granger on a little county road. What am I on? I don't even know. Now I should turn around. There's a nice sunset behind me. kind of nice out though it's actually oh, it's 88 you know, it was 86 warmed up a bit out here but not too bad not in the 90s I put the bike back the back together after I changed the plugs and fired it up I was hoping everything would fire all cylinders would fire and they're fine I always wonder if I didn't get the wire plug back on the the right way. Get new plugs, you really got to tighten them pretty tight because you got to squish that. Uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, crush washer, squish it in there so it seals up. Just like anything. Yeah, let's see if you can see that sunset. Oh, right over there, above the corn. That's yeah, kind of pretty. Yep, shirt rising up. I gotta tuck my shirt in. I lean off the, uh, I lean off of the backrest, and my shirt rides up to my, to my chest. Shows all my fat. Oh, that's pretty though over the, there's nobody behind me, Ugh, I'll slow down. That's actually pretty over the cornfields, isn't it? That kind of reminds me of the Midwest. Yep, down behind a tree now, I should have stayed back. Well, the cornfields east to 35 here and, the, and all the pasture land just totally reminds me of the, where we grew up in the Midwest. Oh, that feel like the road went out in the middle of nowhere.
should turn around and head back into that sunset. I might do that because I don't know where I'm going anyway. There we go. Turned around. We don't want to go too far. Yep, it looks like it's set over that hill a little bit. Just missed it. Got a little bit up here. No clouds, so it's just kind of a pretty sunset. Corn's getting brown already. Doesn't get as big here as it does in the Midwest. In the Midwest, it, gosh, it'll get seven, eight foot tall. Here, I don't think it gets six foot tall. Probably doesn't produce a whole lot of corn either. Yeah, it doesn't get, uh, it might be about six foot tall. It's not, some of it's pretty big. Had some pretty decent rain this year.